Thank you all for coming. Um, I'm going to start. I really appreciate everyone being here. I appreciate the interest in this topic. My name is Jake Orlowitz. Come on in, come on in. Um, I want to talk about something that's very close to my heart. I do a lot of work uh, on references. I do a lot of work on uh, citations, disinformation. I do work on education and training. I do work that benefits um, experienced editors, new editors, and I have a company. I run a company called Wiki Blueprint where I make enough money to support myself by helping other organizations engage with Wikipedia. And it came to my attention not too long ago that most prisoners, or the preferred term is inmates, uh, do not have access to Wikipedia at all in the United States. And this was kind of shocking to me. And so I began this project called Wikipedia Belongs in Prisons. That's its name. Uh, the name is the message. Uh, now, I wrote this as a somewhat austere talk about a very serious subject. Prisons are austere places. Incarceration is very serious. Um, but when I think of prisons, I think of this. This is Phil. Uh, Phil is my friend. Um, his full name is Philip Vance Smith II. And one night, 23 years ago, Phil tried to buy drugs and he pulled a gun. The other guy in the car pulled a gun. Phil shot first. The other guy died. It turned out that the other guy's gun was a water pistol. Phil was sentenced to life uh, without parole for, for life 23 years ago. And uh, for the last eight months, I've talked to Phil uh, every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. He calls me. I get a message on my phone. A robotic voice says, this is the North Carolina incarceration system. Would you like to accept a call from Philip? And I say yes. And uh, we talk. We talk about the world. We talk about politics. We talk about um, life. Um, Phil is not my research subject. He is... Um, or my charity case, uh, for that matter. He's really my friend. Uh, he knows what I do for work. Uh, we share writing notes. We talk about what he wants to do when he gets out, if that ever happens. He wants to visit Hawaii. Um, Phil is also not your average uh, inmate. He has written a memoir. He's published a book of extremely cutting poetry. Um, he's written dozens of articles about incarceration and its flaws that are published all over the internet. Um, he has a web page. You can check it out. I think it's, I, I got to check the, the, the website. But if you search for Philip, Philip Vance Smith, you can see some of his writing. It's in popular outlets. He, he has a very strong voice. He's a journalist. He's the editor of the North Carolina prison newspaper and nearly a college graduate from his time taking classes inside those walls. But when Phil wants to call me, it costs money. When he wants to text me, it costs money. If I want to send him a letter, it costs money. And I cover these costs because Phil makes less than $100 a month in prison. And those costs largely go to for-profit corporations that provide services so that the Department of Corrections doesn't have to monitor things. And they take a pretty penny for that. Now, Phil uh, does have a tablet. There's a common uh, use of tablets in prisons now. Um, but it's locked down and it's controlled by a company that uh, provides mostly uh, entertainment and a little bit of remedial education. It does not provide Wikipedia. When Phil wants to do research to write an article, uh, there are two computers on his cell block and they have limited internet access because it's uh, heavily controlled. Um, one thing they do have on those computers is JSTOR. Now, JSTOR is a friend of mine. They were one of the first partners in the Wikipedia library. They are a nonprofit run by Ithaca. You may be thinking, what use or what is the relative usefulness to inmates of JSTOR, which I could barely understand when I was in college, compared to Wikipedia? But JSTOR hired someone named Stacy, who's my, my mentor in this space, and Stacy has lived experience, which means that she was incarcerated. We don't use the term ex-con. Um, she uh, got her degree from Bard while she was in prison, and she is a badass in the best use of the the word. Um, you know, her story is her story is 
a mess of misunderstandings, but she made not just good on her uh, her life after uh, release, but she has brought JSTOR, JSTOR to a million prisoners in the U.S. That's like half of them, which is a shockingly high number, but that's a different discussion. Um, and my goal is that by the time Phil leaves prison, and I pray that he will, I will make sure that the people he leaves behind in North Carolina have access to Wikipedia. And I'm here today to talk about what that will look like and how it will happen across the entire United States. So here's the basic idea. It's actually not that complicated. Wikipedia is this comprehensive educational tool. It enhances learning. It can serve a rehabilitative purpose because education is rehabilitative. Um, it addresses these gaps in prison education. The content is easily accessible. In theory, it's free. And it's rich in diverse content. And if you improve inmates' knowledge and skills, you prepare them for more successful reintegration to society. Because in this space, prison is hard, but release is also hard. And recidivism, going back into prison, is highly common, way too common, because there's very little support for people out once they are released. And kind of most critically, many prisoners don't get the support they need while they're in prison to actually grow and heal and be ready. So Wikipedia has the potential, education has the potential to empower stigmatized, because there's a huge stigma for someone who's been in prison. A felon is a terrible term in our society. An ex-convict is a terrible term in our society, not by my view, but these are often also marginalized individuals. There's a racial dimension to this. There's a class dimension to this. If you're poor or black or poor and black or brown, you're more likely to go into prison statistically. And so there's a huge social justice component to this. So my simple question, which I ask rhetorically, is why the hell haven't we done this already? So let's dig a little deeper into the problem. Low literacy rates is the first one. This is not a knock on prisoners or inmates rather, excuse me, I'm still learning to respect the language, but the average reading level, according to Stacy, my mentor, is fourth grade in prison. Think about that. Think about what you were reading in fourth grade. Think about your average Wikipedia article, and then think about JSTOR. Um, most prisons offer limited access to educational programming. Now, some are great. Some have robust opportunities, both college level and K through 12 level. Um, I was, uh, you know, um, empowered, I guess, to, to learn that it is a requirement to educate prisoners up to a certain age. But that doesn't mean that they're getting quality education that is of interest to them. And so they're often left without the tools necessary for personal and professional development. And this is related to the limited opportunities for growth. Uh, I think people have a, a kind of uh, cinematic sense of prisons as very dangerous places, but they're not just necessarily dangerous, they're often just stifling. They don't necessarily offer stimulation. They don't necessarily offer encouragement for self-improvement or the opportunities to acquire skills. And this is what rehabilitation really means or requires. The solution is really simple. Give them Wikipedia. It's not a cure-all. It's not a panacea. But this is the easiest thing we could do. And I don't know why it hasn't happened yet. Wikipedia is free. So there's no cost and there's no need to pay via path uh, $2 million a year to put it on the tablets. Um, it's easy to access if you have it on your servers and prisons have limited resources because we don't, we, we don't properly fund all aspects of our corrections departments. The content is written in, I say simple language, and I mean this respectively. Respectfully, I know not every article is uh, easy to, we've all been over the math cliff. What is subtraction? Um, but it is approachable for varying literacy levels. And there are things like leads and wiki links, and you can go down the rabbit hole as you learn to understand a subject over time. 
Now, here's kind of the kicker of how I'm going to do this. We have to start with an offline version of Wikipedia. We can't give open web access to Wikipedia to prisons because they won't allow it. Most prisons won't allow open web access for anything. And Wikipedia has a lot of content on it with a lot of links that go to a lot of places. And that's a problem. We also aren't going to get inmates to edit. That's not the goal here. That was tried a long time ago with this theory that you could have, I don't know the details of this, but there was an idea that you could have uh, inmates write edits and mail them and someone else would do it on them. No, 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 we're not doing that. This is different. This is simple. This is simple. I like simple solutions to radical problems. The good news is that we have offline Wikipedia. It's called QWix. It's already there. Just no one's connected the dots. Also, prisons have security requirements. So there is some content that is not appropriate for a prison environment. Now, WP censored doesn't apply once you're outside of Wikimedia, wikipedia.org. Um, if I'm a reuser, I can censor anything I want. I can only allow my kid to read one article. If you call that censorship, fine. But here's the thing. Wikipedia 1.0, the version that was designed for schools, has 5,000 or so articles. That's a pretty good start. But in the last year, with the help of Walker Ma, user, uh, user Walker Ma, Martin Walker, there is the ability to go the opposite direction and take all 7 million or so English Wikipedia articles, and we're starting with English, and simply remove certain topics that pose a prohibited critical security risk in prison. I am not the judge of what those are, but I'll show you what the, cat what the, the categories, so to speak, exactly are that I'm going to have to remove. Uh, questions at the end, please. Um, so Wikipedia is useful because it has so many different uh, subjects. It's diverse, science, arts, you can explore, all the things that your average unincarcerated person loves about Wikipedia is of use to people in prison, maybe even more so because there's so little to do and learn. And this breadth of content can fill gaps in education and even can fill gaps if people have, say, a college course, but they lack a, a fundamental knowledge of some piece of math or history or politics. Um, and of course, Wikipedia has content that's much, much, much richer and more relevant to modern life. Uh, and that's what you need if you're going to succeed when you're not in prison anymore. So here's the plan. And then I'm going to show you the, the topics that are excluded, because I think that's really the most kind of horrifying slash fun part of this. So again, this is very simple. The offline version of Wikipedia is already there. If you can go to cubics.com and you can get it there. I mean, you can you can use it. It's it's offline, but it's available on the web. We just need to put this on the server of a prison. Um, we're not giving uh, offline boxes. This is an internet in a box. It'll be hosted on a server at the prison, or potentially, if we choose to, it'll be on the tablets hosted by ViaPath, but we're not paying them. Um, and it will be tailored for prisons, so it will have safe educational articles that do not require internet access. I don't know if you know this about Kiwix, but it's really smart. Offline Wikipedia, if an article is prohibited and not included in the collection, it won't Wikilink a term to it. The links won't tease you. You're not going to have a bad experience going, oh, I really wanted to learn about that, but I can't. It's just going to appear as regular text. So filtering is an experiment. It is a required experiment, but we have to cover certain topics that pose security risks as deemed by the prison officials. Their number one job is safety. Their number two job is education and rehabilitation. Um, so we have to limit certain topics relating to crime or violence or things that could cause disruption in the environment. And again, I'm not the expert there, but I'm taking guidance from people who work in prisons. We need to pilot this, and I'm going to talk about some good news. We need to pilot this with an actual prison institution. We need to see what works, what doesn't. Are there bugs? Are there problems? Are there articles that we didn't miss, or sorry, that we missed that are uh, a challenge? Or are we accidentally censoring way too much? 
does removing 20 categories end up cutting 2 million articles because they're broad? And then in the bigger picture, we need to collaborate. We need to engage with stakeholders, uh, funders, particularly because I can't do this myself and I certainly can't do it at scale for free. Um, and we need to, oh, I have a typo, government. Um, we have to collaborate with gov governments. This has to be a priority at the state level. Um, and even, I mean, prisons in the US work mostly at the state level. There are federal prisons, but um, that's kind of just like one state there's like the federal system and then there's 50 state systems. And so this is going to grow. Luckily, I have a record of making partnerships one by one until you have something really useful. That's what I did with the Wikipedia library and it's what I intend to do here. So hold your breath and don't get angry at this, but this is what you're not allowed to show in prison. Drugs, sex, and violence. No, rock and roll is fine, but some of these are going to make you go, hmm, and I'll tell you why they're on there. And again, this is a first run. So we went a little broader because we're not sure what's going to be a problem. Drugs, alcohol, cannabis, gambling, pornography, sex, BDSM, sex work, fetishism, sexual violence, erotica, nudity, firearms, crime, anarchism, terrorism, weapons, organized crime, serial killers, death, military history, explosives, and horror. Now, I'm sure you're wondering about some of them. The, the, the drugs one is kind of obvious. I mean, it's, 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 all, it's commonplace knowledge that prisons have lots of drug use. They're not doing a good job of keeping drugs out of prisons, but they don't want prisoners reading about it. Okay, fine, not my choice. Sex, I object to. Personally, I think sex is a part of life, but apparently it causes problems for some people who monitor prisons, and so, fine. Firearms, anarchism, terrorism, okay. Crime, okay. Why is there military history on there? Swastikas. How do you remove racial uh, insignias that are tied to gang groups or even terrorist groups? And that is why military history was put on there. Um, that's it, period. There is no Wiki Project Nazis. It's just military history. I'm asking questions at the end. Um, horror is the other one that is a little bit of, you know, horror is fictional horror, and yet some of the descriptions are extremely graphic. And that was perceived to potentially be a problem. But the person I'm working with, and I'm going to tell you at the end, said, you know what, leave these on there for now, military history and explosives, but I am a historian and I want inmates to have access to that information. Let's start with this, but then we can always pull it back. Benefits. I've already talked about them. I'm going to move a little more quickly just because I really want to have some time for discussion. But enhanced education, lifelong learning, improved rehabilitation, and possibly, although this is way too ambitious, reduced recidivism rates. I mean, we're not claiming we can make that, that's a public policy uh, goal that is beyond the scope of this, but it aligns directionally. Um, and most importantly, empowering individuals to make informed decisions, pursue change in their lives, foster personal growth, agency, and their recovery. And this is a social justice issue, which is maybe why we haven't done it before. Um, again, these are marginalized populations. This is an opportunity for an equal opportunity for learning, regardless of background. And for me, this is this is about human rights and human dignity. Access to education is a fundamental human right, whether you are in prison or not. Our mission to share free knowledge with the sum of all uh, humans does not say who are not incarcerated. And it aligns with social justice pr principles in the broader criminal justice reform movement, which I am, I wouldn't, I am in, in favor of or in support of, I don't know if I qualify as being a, a part of, but I think I'm becoming. Thesis, integrating prisons, Wikipedia in prisons can transform education and enhance rehabilitation. And I come back to this phrase, I've written a lot about this recently, you may have seen it. Uh, you're not allowed to write great wrongs on Wikipedia, they say. That's the phrase. We're not here to right great wrongs. And I say, but we fucking can. Want to come back to Phil? 
Phil's met my son. They've uh, talked. My son's four years old. His name is Coyote. He really cares about things like, um, I'll tell you two stories about Coyote. One will make you laugh and one will make you feel. Coyote's very interested in politics. He sees the signs on uh, people's yards and he's very um, interested in this race. Um, I'm not going to assume anyone's politics. I'll just tell you a funny story just because I have to tell you the story. But when Coyote rides his Strider bike, which is a bike with no pedals, he uh, sometimes it hurts his kind of like bottom area, which he calls his shrimp. And he says to me, Dad, is Kamala going to beat Donald Trump? The second thing he said, which I wanted to tell you, we're talking one day and he goes, Dad, why is Phil in prison? And I said, he shot someone because I don't lie to my son. And it's true. Phil doesn't deny it. And then Coyote goes, Dad, Phil was a bad person, but he's not anymore. Thank you. Um, I don't know how we're going to do questions without a mic. Because they are they are recording. Do you... I'll repeat the question. Okay, uh, one question first, and then Jeremy. Thanks for the question. The question is basically, how are we going to do censorship necessary to meet the requirements of the different uh, uh, prisons or prison systems? Um, books are more tightly regulated than this. We And it, it also depends ex entirely. It's kind of like different Wikipedia languages. This, state systems are sovereigns. I mean, they have their own rules. And it depends on the person. Like, so I'll, I'll make my reveal. I'm working. I can't announce it officially, but I am. I have verbal enthusiasm from the whole state of Ohio to do this. It was Ohio. I kept it secret. Now, Ohio is really important because it's not California. If California does it, eh, a bunch of hippies. I live in California. Um, but if Ohio does it, and Ohio is a swing state, but their corrections department is very conservative, but they have a, I want to say, I think she's visionary. She thinks she's just doing her job, but they have, um, her name is Jennifer. I forget her last name, but um, they're superintendent of prisons because the prison system is seen as a giant school system. Um, this is the list that we agreed to for the pilot. Every, uh, state is going to have different requirements. Some states are going to want to have their prison librarians review individual articles. No state is going to approve individually 7 million articles. Some state may say only give us Wikipedia 1.0, 5,000, and they'll do opt in rather than opt out. I don't care where we start. You know, again, with the Wikipedia library, it was great training. Oh, Elsevier wants to give us 10 accounts? Fine. Now they give full access. You start where you can. You be practical, you take people where they are, and you make one really good, or it doesn't even have to be really good, just one, um, one pilot takes off. Um, Jeremy. Jeremy, then Jake, then in the back. To my knowledge, Kiwix doesn't include talk pages. So that's not actually the filtering that's available. Um, Wiki Project 1.0 filters based on Wiki Project. So there would have to be a Wiki Project Nazis. That's that is the that is the current functional limitation. In the future, you could design a system where you can do it based on categories or image descriptions or image you know image tags. But again, 
I'm real practical. I'm starting with what's available right now, and it's wiki projects. And now this is this is a, a threat vector, so to speak, because there's lots of articles that are not properly tagged. You know, there's lots of articles about sex that aren't necessarily tagged with the sex uh, wiki project, for example. So um, again, I'm just trying to please the partner enough to get inside the door. Um, it was Jake. I was looking at the category of drugs and like, well, also like all the articles about like rehab and like quitting drugs. Yes. Yeah, so it's like, people in the future, this could be narrowed a little bit more precisely. But, you know, after the initial demonstration, yeah, this is more. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, so, well, I mean. Well, trust me, I am sex, sex and sexual health is fundamental to human health. I mean, look, these are, I would, I would prefer to give an completely uncensored version, but I have to get in the door. Um, it was in the back and then James and then you, and then. I don't know. I don't know. This is actually a very high level sensitive kind of partnership. What I and um, and so I, I can't have a team of people calling prisons and saying, hey, we want to give you Wikipedia. No, no, no. I'm just trying to because I've thought about it, too. It's like, well, I want to own this, but not because I want to be the owner of this, but because the way I've gotten into this world is through extremely precious personal connections, because Stacy introduced me to Phil and Stacy introduced me to Jennifer at Ohio. But what I need is an advisory council. I didn't get the last part. Like writing about the prison systems? I am happy to set up basically a like a project page and if actually if someone can someone do it now just on English Wikipedia just set up WP WBIP um, Wikipedia belongs in prisons and just make a sign up list and um, and and put your name there so we can have the conversation because I would love to expand this to a broader criminal justice reform kind of effort or even reading accessibility effort because that's a chronic problem. Yeah, but I'll tell you from my experience with medicine, there's a lot of resistance to lowering the, the reading level. There are people who think that we should be a textbook at the college level, and they are very resistant to efforts to dumb down Wikipedia. So just be aware. I know that's not what you're saying. That's how it's perceived by some in the community. Um, there was James, and then uh, yes, and then yes, and then yes. Speak up a little bit, please. Yes. Of course, this is this should be a global effort. Wikipedia belongs for every human. Um, sorry, it was you and then you and then you and then you. And then you. Um yeah, sure. The question was updating in simple English. Um, I, I'm agnostic about updating. Um, you know, it should probably be updated at least every quarter and no longer than, um, or sorry, it should be, I would say probably no more often than every quarter because you want to limit the burden on the prisons. And if you're doing this times 50 and they need to do that, um, but it also shouldn't be out of date by more than a year. I think that's reasonable, but if a prison wants to have it on, you know, if there's a smart IT person who can just have it auto pull every day, why not? Um, so uh, again, practical, but realistic, I think between zero and 12 months. And as for simple English Wikipedia, I don't really know what to say. 
I'm not a simple English Wikipedian. I'm not familiar with how broad the content is. I know it's more accessible, but I think it's a good idea. I think um, uh, maybe whoever made the page, um, W p colon wbip could have an ideas section and take some notes while we're doing this like um reading accessibility and simple wikipedia um because i see no reason if there is a kiwix version of simple to offer them both because there are going to be some uh inmates who can't read wikipedia who can barely read at all and so for them to answer your question uh, or to relate to your question simple english may be the better solution than trying to change the readability level of all of English Wikipedia. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's open for discussion. Um, so it was you and then you. Yes. It sucks. So this is not a U.S. project. I'm a U.S. person, so I'm starting here. And every system is so different. And I don't have contacts outside of the U.S. In the, in the Department of Corrections. But if you do, then we should work together. And um, you should join. Anyone in this room from whatever country should join WBIP on English Wikipedia, and maybe we'll move it to Meta, and it should be happening in every country in the world. So yes. Um, it was you? Oh, and then, sorry, you, and then Gnall, and then you. There are special people that it works really well with. I also had the experience where I had 24 uh, inmates that came through a restaurant and a lot of mixed experiences. So in, in the hypothetical, we, we get Wikipedia in, let's say, Ohio uh, State Prison System. Once, once they ha let's just say they have the 5,000 articles. Uh, six six 6.5 million. Well, it's the basic. Oh, basic. the basic. Okay. learning and re rehabilitation because like in my case that we were teaching a vocation so then it directly re uh, related to uh, getting back into society yeah uh, and, and educating them on a very specific uh, goal of, of you know having a job how, how are they going to use either the the 5,000 or the 6.5 million articles yeah. uh, to learn and get to a goal I don't know um, that's my simple answer. I'm not. Uh, I'm not an educator. Well, actually, I am, but I'm not a prison educator, and I'm not certainly not a rehabilitative expert with insight into lived experience in prisons. But when I use Wikipedia, I use it for whatever the hell I want. No one tells me how I have to use it. I can use it to learn about history. I can use it to look at my favorite celebrities, uh, or I can use it to advance my personal political goals. And so my my answer is um, to take a very light hand. And basically give prisoners full access to Wikipedia and let them do what they choose to. If they want to read articles about pop culture all day, that's fine. And if they want to learn, teach themselves particle physics, great. But it's not my job to tell them what to do. So 
your experience, what uh, feedback or, or pushback have you gotten from the administrators? Um, I haven't necessarily gotten pushback. It's more, can you talk to the right person? You have to find someone who's willing. Otherwise, you just don't hear. Um, and again, we've been very careful. We've planned this strategically, how it's going to work. We've got the tech lined up. It's ready to go. It's just been waiting for the right institution. So we haven't had no's because we've been careful about how we approach it. So I haven't gotten objections yet partly because we've been in stealth mode and partly because, um, you know, the first person I talked to said, we'll do it. We're in. Um, I lost the, the track, but it, I could all. And then, and then. I'm curious how the, how the JSTOR process was, like, how long did it take them? Like, and like, they, they also, how was their like censorship bridging and like, were they able to loosen it afterwards? I'm just kind of curious what we can learn from there. That's a great question. So Stacy works for JSTOR. Um, uh, Stacy's a, my hero. She's um, just a true badass. Um, and there's a lot less problematic content on JSTOR than Wikipedia, relatively speaking. Um, uh, it may be advanced. It may even be theoretically instructive for how to overthrow imperialisms of various sorts. But there aren't pictures of swastikas or description. I mean, there is a rule in Ohio that there can be no descriptions of intercourse. Not even pictures, not even uh, cartoon pictures, but no descriptions of intercourse, a human intercourse. Uh, apparently, animal husbandry is fine. Um, so it's like, I, you know, I'll, all I can say is I've co designed this hand in hand with Stacy and it's different because Wikipedia and JSTOR are so different, but she has my back on this and she's like JSTOR had a much more complicated technical regime because they have a paid staffer and a paid developer. I'm doing this basically as my wife said, Oh great. You're taking on another, <laughs> another project in your free time. And I was like, well, it might turn into a, you know, a paying opportunity at some point, but yes, this is important. So um, there's, we're trying to keep it as lightweight as possible. And the goal, the goal is to give as much of Wikipedia as possible to as many people who are incarcerated as possible. So if we start with 30 categories or 50 categories, the goal is to find out, was this problematic? And if it's not, to take it off. Um, so, yeah. Uh, my question, um, I'm wondering if access uh, from prisoners is logged and uh, what are the privacy concerns we've had or uh, with the familiarity with how that Damn. Uh, that's a really hard question because I don't have control over reading logs and I don't know. I assume they log everything. So um, now I know Kiwix doesn't log. But um, I think I'm going to say something that's not an apology or um, I think prisoners know they're constantly surveilled. They're not under any, they're not under any um, like misconception about that. Uh, it would be ideal if I had leverage to say you can't lock what prisoners read. I don't have that leverage. So I, um, the best thing I could try to do would be to put on their version a disclaimer at the bottom that says your reading activity is locked. That's the best I could do. And we probably won't even get that. Um, but I really appreciate your question because someone who worked in the, uh, as a non-librarian in the library field, it's, it's sacrosanct. What you take out is no one's fucking business. But in this environment, that's just not how it works. You have no privacy. And I think the upside of that is at least prisoners expect, sorry, excuse me, at least inmates expect that. Um, you know, um, yeah. Um, sorry, uh, did I get you? Go ahead.
They have a lot of time to read. Thank you. I think it's um, it's inescapable to talk about race um, when you talk about U.S. prison systems, and I'm happy to have that conversation. Um, uh, our, yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not here to advocate, but our incarceration system is racist. I think that's I don't think there's any need to debate it. Um, you can disagree. That's fine. That's not what we're here to talk about. But that's why this is a social justice issue. It's not just an education issue. It is a social justice issue. And we can have an impact in that area. Pasita? These are great ideas. We're not there yet. Um, the first goal is to get it technically on the servers and approved by the superintendent of prisons and then to run it and just let it be <clears throat> in the wild, so to speak, um, not just to let it be in the prison environment and see what happens. This is early, early, early. But there's so many opportunities. I mean, um, again, I, I tend to take a light hand towards programming. Um, one, because it takes a lot of investment. But I think it goes the other way. If I'm taking classes, I can go back and use Wikipedia to fill in the gaps. Or I can read Wikipedia and go, oh my god, I love math. I want to take a math class. Um, and so I don't have any ambitions personally for programming because I don't have the ability to do that at scale, but a chapter might, if you know any. Um, we'll take two more questions, um, you and then you, and or maybe three if I miss someone. Go ahead. Can you take, a, I, it's hard to hear you. That's the most important question I've heard because it presents the opportunity to be more scalpel like. And I don't know yet. I will find out because task forces are sub wiki projects and I will find out. Yeah, military history is a pretty big subject. We could, if you could just remove the World War II task force, that'd be better. Thank you. I don't know if there were swastikas in 1850. Well, there were, but they weren't related to racism. The prejudicial discipline. But American yeah. revolutionary history. I love that idea. Please, um, you know, uh, if someone's taking notes on the page, write down task forces, because I'll talk to Martin Walker and find out. Um, I'm going to take one more question, and then I'm going to uh, wrap, because I have a talk right after this in another room. Um, WP, thank you. WP colon W B I P. I like the name because when you say the name, you it's, it's there. You know, you even if someone's like, I don't like Wikipedia belongs in prisons, they've already said it. This is a marketing tactic. Um, go ahead. I don't know.
Yeah. All I want to say is this is a human rights issue, but is actually not just a progressive left liberal issue because making prisons rehabilitative is popular on the right. Funding prisons it may not be that popular on the right in the U.S., but making the prison experience less disruptive and more rehabilitative is actually like a cross-cutting goal. So I'm not worried about the election for that reason, but for others. Um, and thank you so much for coming. Please sign up on the Wikipedia to prisons. If someone can make the redirect for the whole word phrase, that'd be great. I really appreciate your help. I love Wikipedians. You guys are awesome.